ありがとうおやすみおやすみなさい Erased is a phenomenal anime, one that holds dear to my heart. It covers topics on murder and abuse in a mature fashion. I want to explore three of many themes in this show courage, love, and a second chance. The story begins with Satori Fujinuma, a struggling manga writer. In the first 30 seconds of the show, we see him confess his fear and life of regret. Satoru has a power that lets him go back a couple of minutes to save someone that is in danger. Satoru, in the first episode, is cold and sad, but he has a friend that is warm and enthusiastic, perceived to be his only friend. Satoru has a strong and loving bond with his mother, making it adorable and amusing. Satoru, loving of his mother, seems to take that love for granted. So when the murderer killed her, he seemed to be in denial and shock. But he was in the wrong place, wrong time, placing him as the murderer. Next time we see Satoru as a child, not only does he have a chance to save his mother, but he has a chance to save the others that were killed, and the one he holds himself guilty for, Kayo Hineski. When Satoru sees his mother, he's happy and grateful. He sees the most important person in his life once more again. When talking to Kayo for the first time, Kayo sees them as the same. Both cold and liars. This is shown as how Satoru lies to Kayo about winning, and Kayo lies to Satoru about being abused by her mother. Kayo's mother has this look in her eye, a color of red, the color of danger and the color of warning. But Satoru has this color of blue, a color of calming nature and a color of hope. Kayo wears this red clothing, indicating her danger and warning. And it's shown that she's getting beaten behind a red curtain, hidden and in danger. In class, Satoru stood up for Kayo, but in doing so, hurt another. At that moment, Satoru and Kayo's bond hardened and became stronger. He let the whole class know he's standing with Kayo without hesitation, not even concerned in being in Kayo's problems. Kayo's constant insults slowly became a loving tease. Satoru and Kayo started hanging out together. She was glad she had the courage to. She just needed a push in the right direction. Satoru gave her hope and a little bit of joy. She started coming to school on time and she greeted Satoru with a hello and a lovely smile. Quite rare for this cold character, she's finally warming up to Satoru and everyone else. Satoru is helping her, but at the same time, falling in love given he's 29. There is a love there that is developing. He gets lost in this natural love. But he distanced himself because of his mental age. It doesn't come off as weird or inappropriate for me. To me, it's amusing and lovely. Kyle's mother is suppressing her, making her cold. But Satoru grabbed her by her hand, letting her know that he will never leave her side with his determined eyes. These little things is what makes their love so real. Satoru and Kyle spent their birthday alone with their mothers, with no friends. But due to Satoru's change in mood, An increase in courage. The bond with his friends got stronger, and he wasn't alone. Neither was Kayo. Satoru went out of his way to give Kayo a gift. And when the couple walked to Kayo's house, warming each other, she gave Satoru her scarf. They are giving and receiving. This is what makes their love unbreakable. They're exchanging love. Kayo promises she will give Satoru his gloves tomorrow. At that moment, Satoru was fulfilled. He accomplished a second chance. But sometimes, some things are out of our control. Satoru did his best, so he wasn't to blame. It was out of his hands. Kayo was murdered once more. When Satoru arrives back to his present time, we see Airi. Airi is an opposite reflection of Kayo. Satoru helps Kayo, but Airi helps Satoru. These women hold dear to his heart. They take the same place, even saying the same lines. When Satoru gets caught, he knows he won't see Airi again. The one person that believed in him, he appreciates the time they spent together. And he wanted to let her know that he's glad he trusted her. Satoru, when seeing the murderer, begs for a second chance. When he's back, he knows this is his last chance, his last revival. The courage that Satoru took made Kenya question Satoru and himself. Satoru had the courage. 
but Kenya didn't. Satoru, knowing his new changed ways and behavior, didn't stop to think. Who is he now? Satoru, after thinking, claims to be a superhero. Or yet, he strives to be one. Satoru influenced Kenya without even knowing. The benefits of love and courage. Now they chase after the title of superhero together. When Satoru is about to hurt Kayo's mother, Kenya stops him. He had the same red eyes as Kayo's mother and Mr. Yashiro, making him no different from the murderer. Kenya stops him because that's what friends are for. When talking to Kenya, Satoru opens up. Satoru is a true superhero. He doesn't care what happens to him as long as Kayo is safe. A girl trapped in the dark for too long. One worth sacrificing for. As these characters engage and help each other out, I feel the sensation of warmth. There's a warm feeling in the atmosphere between the characters that has developed. When Kyle was alone, she was hurt and suicidal. She hated this pain. She saw no use in her existence. Knowing she had no one by her side, all she saw was the town without her. She wanted peace on an island by herself, where she can do whatever she wants, when she wants, and think about the town without her. It's all about courage. Each time Satoru tries to help her, she hesitates, but she ends up saying yes, having courage to say yes, and every time she's happy. When Satoru finally got his gift, it was something that he was waiting for but wasn't expecting. The first time period where he helped Kayo, he didn't see Kayo the next day, so he didn't see his present the next day. But in this timeline, Kayo finally gave him his gift. She's here this time. He saved her. He saw her live to give the present. When Kayo is in Satoru's house, the reaction of Kayo in this scene struck me. She reacted in defense, pain tied to her mother, not knowing the real love of a mother. Satoru's mother isn't only loving of her own child, but she's loving of Kayo, treating her like she's her own, bathing her, buying her clothes, playing with her, and even greatest of all, cooking her a home-cooked meal. In this moment in time, this scene, it's pretty clear, despite his age, he loves Kayo in a romantic way, not being aware of his own subconscious words, a funny and beautiful moment. And as always, Kayo replies with a classic tease. When Kayo walks up to her beautiful, home-cooked, warm meal, we all know we shouldn't take things for granted and should always be grateful. This is my favorite scene and the most meaningful scene for me. And it really hits home. Kayo looks at each meal and it gets worse than the one before until there is the meal that she was faced with. That fills her with emotion that we haven't seen from the character. This meal has the meaning of love better than the rest. She eats her meals in the cold, by herself outside. Now she is not alone. She is inside and surrounded by love. This is it. She is out of the cold. Satoru saved her. She's warm now. Kyle's mother wasn't worried. She was gone. She wasn't crying with tears. She wasn't welcoming. And she didn't say the words, I missed you. Quite the opposite. She was worried about her self-representation. She instead was about to be her child. Instead of hugging her. Kayo's mother is everything a mother shouldn't be. And Satoru's mother is everything a mother should be. Kayo's mother was abused. So she abused her child. It was understandable, but beyond unacceptable. But Satoru did it. He stopped the murderer in the future and saved Kayo. Even having his own life full of fulfillment. Being a manga writer, despite being in a coma, his friends lived for him, helping him out, as he did for them. The ending was disappointing, but there was one thing I loved about it. He finally saw Irie, the butterfly, a symbol of time and change in time. And he followed the butterfly to a person of his old life. Irie, the first person to ever believe in him. His first true friend. Love comes in different forms, so take it when offered. All it takes is courage. Satoru had another chance, with his new life, with his new friends, and his old life, with Irie. Erase taught me that we should never take things for granted, and we should always have courage. And when you're offered a second chance, take it. 
don't just assume someone's okay. Let them know that you're here for them. Live life with a purpose and have strong relationships with your friends.